today we're starting our hydrogen investing adventure and the first thing we're going to look at is the colours of hydrogen. No, it's not the colour of the actual gas, but the colours that indicate the way the hydrogen is produced. We've got green, blue, grey, black, brown, pink, turquoise, yellow and white. So, green hydrogen made using clean electricity from surplus renewable energy sources such as solar or wind power to electrolyze water. Electro electrolysis, electrolysis use an electrochemical reaction to split water into its components of hydrogen and oxygen emitting zero carbon dioxide in the process. This makes up a small percentage of the overall hydrogen because production is expensive. Just as energy from wind power has reduced in price, green hydrogen will come down in price as it becomes more common. Blue hydrogen. This is produced mainly from natural gas using a process called steam reforming, which brings together natural gas and heated water in the form of steam. The output is hydrogen, but carbon dioxide is also produced as a byproduct. So the definition of blue hydrogen includes the use of carbon capture and storage, known as um, CCS, to trap and store this carbon. Blue hydrogen, hydrogen is sometimes described as low carbon hydrogen, as the steam reforming process doesn't actually avoid the creation of greenhouse gases. Grey hydrogen. Currently, this is the most common form of hydrogen production. Grey hydrogen is created from natural gas or methane using steam methane reformation, but without capturing. The greenhouse gases made in the process um, are sort of let out into the environment. Grey hydrogen is essentially the same as blue hydrogen, but without the use of carbon capture and storage. Black and brown hydrogen. Using black coal or lignite, known as brown coal, in the hydrogen making process, these black and brown hydrogens are the absolute opposite of green hydrogen in the hydrogens in the hydrogen spectrum of colors and the most environmentally damaging just to confuse things any hydrogen made from fossil fuels through the process of gasification is sometimes called black or brown hydrogen interchangeably Japan and Australia announced a new brown coal to hydrogen project recently. The project will use brown coal in Australia to produce liquid hydrogen, which will then be shipped to Japan for low emission use. So all you're doing is um, using very low grade coal, brown coal, um, turn it into hydrogen which you're leaving all the carbon in australia which in fact will go around the world and sending the um, um environmentally friendly fuel to japan pink hydrogen is generated through electrolysis powered by nuclear energy nuclear produces hyd nuclear produces hydrogen can also be referred to as purple or red hydrogen 
In addition, the very high temperatures from nuclear reactors could be used in other hydrogen production by producing steam for more efficient electrolysis or fossil gas-based steam methane reforming. Turquoise hydrogen. This is a new entry to the um, hydrogen colour um, scheme and has yet to be proven at scale. Turquoise hydrogen is made using a process called methane pyrolysis to produce hydrogen and solid carbon. In the future, turquoise hydrogen may be um, valued as low emission hydrogen depending on the thermal process being powered with renewable energy and the carbon being permanently stored or used. Yellow hydrogen is a relatively new um, phrase for hydrogen made through electrolysis using solar power. White hydrogen is a naturally occurring geological hydrogen found in underground deposits and created through fracking. The, there are no strategies to exploit this hydrogen at present. So we can see there are numerous methods of um, producing hydrogen uh, I, and the colours indicates the methodology of actually producing the um, hydrogen um, and the least polluting but um, I would say uh, um, uh, yellow hydrogen is quite um, pollutant free as it's using the power of the sun to create hydrogen from electrolysis so it's just turning water into um, hydrogen uh, so this um, is the start of our hydrogen um, investing adventure I think um, we've got a, we'll see be seeing a lot more of this coming up in the future and this will give us some great investing opportunities but I think it's good to get an understanding of the project so we'll work through some terminologies as we go along. I um, hope you found this interesting. Till next time, I bid you a really successful hydrogen investing adventure.